Looney Farm Guy here, and in this video, we'll be looking at the Trailed Loader by RL Modding on Farming Simulator 22. This is for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on PS5 here on Rock Crawl, and this is 6.79 megabytes to download, uh, very low on the slot count. Uh, three slots for the unit itself and one or two slots for each attachment. So we're going to be looking at this, demonstrating it and looking at each of the attachments in, um, in detail, but not excessively. So I'm going to try to keep this video short, but we have several attachments of which I have all of them displayed here. And uh, first of all, let's take a look at where we're going to find this. It's going to be under Tools and Miscellaneous, and that's where they're all going to be. We have the Trailed Loader, <clears throat> $15,000 to purchase. Three slots, so that's the biggest slot count here. We have Wheel Brands to choose from. Lizard, Midas, Nokian. Uh, Nokian is the only one you can change the size on, I do believe. Yeah, everything else is pretty much standard there. So, yeah, no charge there. Color is yellow, or you can choose any one of these other colors. A uh, thousand bucks to change that color. A thousand bucks to change the design color, which is the frame. And then rim color, a hundred dollars to change that. And that is about it for options, actually, because uh, the can the next uh, attachment, we'll go through each attachment. So there are a number of attachments. Whoops. We have a clamshell bucket, manure fork, bale spike, bucket for potatoes and beets, log fork, lifting beam with straps, which is actually very neat, and a big bag lifter. So, starting with the uh, unit itself, let's hop in here. Well, so I have the uh, sound turned off because what this is, uh, you get it like this without the attachment, of course. So let's hop in here and drop the attachment for a minute. And uh, all of these, all of these tractors uh, engines are running, so that's why there's no engine sound or anything. So this is how you get it just like this. Now, it is a vehicle, so you can get in it like so. Let's get our, our help window is on. So if I go ahead and L1 and try to fold it, it says attached tool to attach, attach tool to vehicle with a turned on motor. So it does not have an, its own motor. So even though you can get in it, you it does not have its own motor. So you have to attach it to something that is turned on or a tractor for instance would be pro preferable and now that that's running so you can operate the unit from the tractor now if you want to operate the unit from inside the vehicle itself you have to do something like this you have to go Go to your vehicle control and turn automatic engine start off. That way, whoops, that way when you get out of your tractor, it continues to run. So, my apologies, I keep getting interrupted. Yes, so, where were we? Yes, attached to a running vehicle and then you can get in. So, operation of the unit itself, L1 and X. <sighs> Start the engine, there we go. Yes, it turned off when I changed that. L1 and X folds, so that's folds it, that puts up those um, feet. Oh, you know what I mean, those little things. So when you fold it, or unfold it, it puts those stabilizer feet down so that you can operate it. L1 and right stick left or right will move your unit left and right up and down on your um, L1 and right stick up and down moves it up and down. Pretty simple there, excuse me. R1 and right stick uh, left and right uh, doesn't do anything up and down moves it forward and backward 
Right. So now that it's now that we have the operation of the unit itself attaching the ends. So the first one we're going to look at is going to be the clamshell bucket $2,100. It is a um, multi um, multi unit all those things down there at the bottom my brain is just fried right now uh $2100 1500 liters capacity we look at it there there's no options it's just basically a uh, a clamshell bucket so how do you hook it up well you get into your tractor you can move it with those things extended and as we come up to the bucket whoops oh camera come on behave yourself you get the trigger to attach it press x it is now attached so now to make it simple we're going to get into this so now we're in the unit and we have the notice we can't switch our controls with our triangle there's no option it is uh, the bucket is always active on the end so that's probably the best way or least confusing way to operate this so as we go down it doesn't do anything right okay well that's fine because r1 and now we have r1 and the right stick that right r1 right stick left and right opens and closes that clamshell thing so as we there we go manure opening go down close it there we go it fills up it's not the easiest thing to use so it's a little bit immobile too so if we hop out and we get in our tractor uh, you can as i said you can also operate it from here just make sure you have that bucket um, activated there we go we, we dip the bucket in deep into the muck and it will pick it up there we go so we can move around there we can dump it into a trailer if we like if we got that much of a reach r1 and uh, left there we go and yes there we are so that is your clamshell bucket on the trailed uh the trailed loader if we back up here we're just going to hook up the next attachment and it pretty much uh, all works the same way this is going to be the manure fork and that will pick up uh grass hay manure silage chaff and straw again no uh, no other extra configurations available for that and make sure we have okay so let's 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 hop into here this one works a little tad well kind of the same i would recommend r1 and right stick and closing it because when you do, when you dip it down it will kind of fill up as you mush it around in the uh in the muck and it will uh come on let's get you there we go it will kind of like pick it up as you move it around it's it's not i would say it's it's not particularly realistic in that sense but once it's full r1 and left on your right stick empties it out so there you go with that the next one we're going to look at is the bale fork and that if we come over here bale spike it is quite simply just a bale spike as you can see here uh, do we have is it started no there we go started hop in here make sure we have oh now this one I can no now I can't switch mm, that's odd why is it doing that there we go okay hmm so there's our bale spike we have a bale uh, position it over the bale lower it down uh, close the spike 
And there we go, we have a bale. Open it back up again, and we lose the bale. Just like so. And again, yes, the next one is the beet. <coughs> Bucket for potatoes and beets. Potatoes and beets. That's what it will pick up, 1,500 liters. Uh, this one, let's make sure our vehicle is started. Yes, our vehicle is running. Get in there. Can we switch to the... Yes, we can switch to it. L1, lower it down. R1, close it. There we go. Close it in. Let's see. I think... Yeah, so kind of the same thing. It kind of fills up as we kind of move it around. <laughs> I can say it's not the most realistic um, loading, but it kind of is. There we go. It's almost full. And then R1 and left, and it empties it. So like that. Uh, I've neglected to get a log, so give me a moment, and I will get a log to demonstrate the, um, the log grab unit. All right, here we are, a log. Let's help into our unit. And L1, let's lower it down to, uh, so that we're over top of it. And again, right stick should clamp. There we go. We've clamped onto it, and there we are. So very simple, nice little attachment that works quite well. Like so. Moving on. This one is interesting. Oh, we didn't show that one. Let's go in here and show it. Uh, it's, as I said, none of them have any options. Oh, this one has a color option. Sorry about that. We have color options for that one. All these basic color options. $1,000 to change the color, though. That's a little bit pricey just for an end. But uh, there it is. It is what it is. The next one is this lifting beam with straps that does not have any options that is quite interesting and here it is oh attachment is we showed you how to attach the first one they all attach the same on the end i'm not gonna i'm not gonna show that each and every time right so this one has a little bit of a unique feature to it l1 uh, same same idea same operation up and down back and forth r1 left and oh, up and back and forth but left there's no left and right because it doesn't spin or anything it is uh, pretty much static but if we lower it down over top of this this here um, fertilizer big bag and press r1 r1 and r3 this has straps so this uh this is extremely useful i would imagine um you can use it to pick up anything that straps hold on to uh logs bags uh bales anything that a strap will strap onto uh this will lift up so that's very cool and the next one finally is the big bag hook there we go big bag lifter is seven hundred dollars no options there it's just basically a hook now this one this one's a little bit um have, i'm gonna say a little bit of an issue so uh there we go we have the hook enabled and we should uh, Well, now it's not working. It should have given me a trigger to pick up the big bag. That's odd. Now I can manually, come on, let's get it up. There we go. I can manually pick it up, but um, oddly enough, I think it might be, I think this, oh, okay, so that's what's going on. Uh, if you're in the, if you're in the tractor, you get that, 
see now I've and now it says yeah there's there's something little bit goofy going on with the big bag lifter let's uh, see if we can do that L1 and X yeah so something's kind of glitched with the big bag lifter unfortunately it doesn't automatically hook even though I get that it did the first time but now after you've hooked it up it's not um, yeah so not sure what's going on with that so if you're using the bag lifter and you're having uh, some issues with it I I'm not sure why because it should automatically and it did the first time it should uh, there we go now we got it and when I go L1 and un uh, oh I don't I don't get the uh, drop oh okay yeah so the unfold trailer is gonna be is is hmm. yeah I see what's going on see the top left corner you have the L1 and X is typically gonna be dropping the um, the bag but it's unfold trailer loader instead trailed loader that's why see if i press the x it just puts down the so that's the problem there's a conflict with the controls yeah okay so if you're using the big bag lifter you're going to have a uh, conflict with the controls of the unfolding the trailer to the dropping of the um bag so moving bags around with this is going to be a little bit tricky and difficult however um out of all of the attachments just that one attachment has a little bit of a bobble to it not too bad for something kind of this neat so there you have it um apologies for the longer video but uh, that is um what it uh, needed to do to um to cover every piece and that's the trailed loader by rl modding it's only 6.79 megabytes to download very low on the slot counts so that's kind of neat just be aware the big bag lifter may not work properly for you um and that's all thank you all for watching on the new farm guy and remember it's only a game so till next time bye for now